Hey folks, Grant from Gunspot here for thearmorylife.com. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you establish dope or data for you to use in long range shooting. All right, folks, so it matters not whether you have the best equipment, best rifle, best ammo, best all that stuff, if you don't know how to establish that data to put on it so that you can make your bullet reach out there to five, six, 700 yards. All right, so what I typically suggest folks to do is one, you need to understand um, how ballistic computers work and and there are a lot of apps out there. I think Hornady has one, Bushnell definitely has one, Applied Ballistics is one, um, you know, uh, Straylock is another. There's a, a million different companies um, that you can buy or get the free version through your smartphone that is going to give you some starting data. And truly it is or should be looked at as starting data um, because it is a computer algorithm. It is not specific to your exact rifle. There is always going to be some variances between the data that the app starts with as compared to your setup. So it's a good starting point. Sometimes it's very, very much like yours, but not always. So we can't expect it to always be the same and nor should we um, rely on it like it's gospel. So what I generally um, teach my customers to do is to to invest in one of those apps and, and the ones that typically you pay for are going to give you better and better features, okay? Um, but once you have that starting data, I suggest once you've zeroed your rifle at 100 yards, you zero out your turrets, okay? So that you're starting at zero so you don't get confused with how much you're adding onto the rifle. And then you have to commit in the hunting world kind of that, that impardonable sin, and this is a joke, but you know, touching the knobs. Um, they, in a good quality optic, we're gonna touch the knobs, we're going to turn and return it to zero, and we can trust that it's gonna return to zero if we're utilizing good quality equipment. If we're using an optic that maybe isn't really designed for that, it doesn't have target knobs, shooting long range is, is going to be much more challenging because you're going to have to count each little adjustment that you put on the optic versus having this heads up display in the knob that allows you to adjust. That said, once we determine this is our starting data, my suggestion is that you start by going to 700 yards. And then you, what we're doing is what's called truing the data. We're going to shoot and you're going to expect that you're going to have some misses, okay? And those misses aren't necessarily failures on our part. They are misses associated with less than perfect data as it applies to our rifle. Some of that could be due to errors on our part via our input being off. You know, maybe I misread the temperature or the barometric pressure or the wind or any of those particular um, um, bits of data, but I've got to make sure that's accurate. And then I'm going to shoot a group and I'm going to make adjustments in the computer as to what it actually took to get it there, what my data really needed to be. So for instance, if the computer said I needed five mils of elevation, and when I put five mils on the gun and I shot, and I was substantially lower, and I ended up having to put six mils on the gun, well, that tells me it's probably a velocity issue. Maybe I'm running a shorter barrel, for instance, than what um, the setup was used when 
um, applied ballistics or um, whoever uh, put together that data use. Maybe they were running a 26 inch and their, their bullet was traveling faster. So I am going to have to tweak that inputted data in order to match what the bullet is actually showing me down at distance. Once I've trued that, I can confirm that and then go to some different distances to see if those two things are still a match. And once I have that matched up data, then I can print it off, put it into usable card format, and take it to the range with me. Uh, I really wanna be clear about one thing. I, I said 700 yards is the distance that I suggest folks go out to um, to true their data. That 700 yards is not gospel. It's gonna be dependent on the type of bullet or the caliber that you're shooting. So for instance, if you're shooting a um, 350 Legend, you're not gonna to go to 700 yards with a 350 Legend to true the data. You don't need to. It's going to be very random because that bullet wasn't designed to shoot long range at. So it's, it's relative to the caliber that you're shooting, the distance you go out to. I like to pick a nice medium range, uh, medium range that is going to allow me to not be past my supersonic speeds, but also at that upper end of the spectrum of where I'm getting closer to my supersonic running out and going into transonic flight or the transition of the bullet from supersonic to subsonic. And that's where I like to true my data at. Now, you're probably going to find somebody that says, no, I like 600 yards or I like 400 yards. And again, keep it in mind, it's all relative to the caliber and the speed that your bullet is traveling. All right, folks, that has been truing data for long range shooting. Thanks for watching and remember to train hard. Your family deserves it.